Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, in my, well, this isn't really a series. It's more of me just making stuff up as I go along. I'm in 113.2 at the minute, not 114. And I thought it's been ages since I did a freestyle house. So I'm just going to do a bit of a fiddle around with a freestyle house. Hopefully it'll turn out all right. Maybe it won't. We'll see. And I imagine if you've seen the thumbnail, you probably already know what it looks like. But I don't yet because I've not made it yet. And I'm going to made it here, I think. We're going to see if we can't do something that's a little bit pretty and fancy. The challenge is I have got five squares or five cubes and that is all I'm allowed to work with just five cubes that are seven by seven so that's my personal challenge I can do anything as long as I only use five cubes of seven by seven well five squares of seven by seven they're not going to be seven I because that would look a little bit too blocky but you know what I mean should we crack on with it let's do it now normally you would expect at this stage for you to see me with an oak log in my hand well guess what I ain't got an oak log in my hand. I've got a dark oak log in my hand. Surprise! I'm gonna try just some slightly different blocks just to see if we can't make some slightly different look. But I have marked out, you can see, my five squares. One, two, three, four, five. I've decided to go for a fairly classic, classic cross shape today. So we're gonna go up. Now, because I want to do one of the roofs a little bit kind of off of the, the standard um, a shaped 12 12 whatever it is called sorry uh, Labar Grizzly I can't remember what it's called I think it's a 12 12 roof um, I'm just going to try a little bit higher than normal so that's two three four and I'm going to go five and we're going to do one two three four five so I reckon we're going to go that high on all of them because of the slightly higher pitch roof that I'm hoping to do. Um, if I don't go a little bit higher, it might look a little bit odd. So I've decided I'm gonna go a little bit higher than the standard. I'd normally go four at this size. And actually, if you've got a seven by seven square, four is a very, very good height. But if you've got a nine by nine square, five is actually a very, very good height. So at this stage, I'm doing five on a seven by seven, just to confuse everybody, because I can, it's my build. There we go. One more. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to join them up classically, as I always do, in this cross shape. So we've got a nice cross shape across everything. I'm not going to join up the middle. I'm going to keep that open for now. Whether or not I join it up later on, I do not know. I might, I might not. Not decided. But we are going to need the cross joined up properly. Like, oh, I've missed one. Here we go. That's better. Let's fill up all of these edges. We're nearly there. That pig is definitely going to get in my way in a minute. I don't want to have to turn you into a bacon sandwich pig, but I will if I have to. Don't you disbelieve it. Sorry, I nearly missed turning the corner then. And then we've got the last edge there. So there we go. So we've got a nice cross shape. This is a really nice setting. We've got water on both sides, a nice big tree and some rocks in the background. I thought it was quite a nice setting for a house. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to do stripped birch. And the primarily we're going to do stripped birch because look at the contrast that gives against this dark oak. I really like it. So we're going to have the front door is going to be here. So we're going to, again, inset it, always inset it one. Otherwise, you don't get any depth. We're going to wrap around the inside, come along this way. This is a full wall come along this way wrap around the inside like that do we want a back door I mean look at that view you've got to have something right so I'm gonna put in a back door there come all the way around look I told you pig seriously there's bacon sandwich in your near future if you're not careful come around this way he's getting in the way I'm gonna to have to kill you pig seriously I don't want to have to do it but I will if I have to and there we go so I think that is a reasonable internal size. Now you can see, because we're using a seven by seven square, you actually don't get a lot of internal space. And as a result of that, we need to be very, very careful about what it is we're trying to fit inside this house. But for now, it's perfectly okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take out the ground 
because I want to put the floor in first because then I can start to think about what I'm going to have inside. And on the floor, it doesn't really matter what block I use for the floor because I'm going to cover it over with some carpet because I want to do lighting using glowstone inside the floor. Um, so it's all completely hidden. So let's just get rid of this bit out like that. And I'm going to use just some light grey concrete just to cover up the floor. It almost looks like I've done a proper screed on the floor with this light grey concrete so as I can start to lay the floor properly. If you ever go into a house that's kind of part built, you'll notice the floors have got this kind of grey... It, it looks like concrete but it's not quite and it's called a screed. Um, or at least I think that's what it's called. I'm sure people in the comments will tell me otherwise. But this looks like a raw floor before anything is laid on top of it. There you go. That's what I reckon. So that is like that. And then we're going to get ourselves a little bit of glowstone. And we're going to find a gl oh, glowstone in the middle. Glowstone in the middle of that. Glowstone in the middle of that. And there. And there. And then I'm going to carpet the whole lot. Now the whole lot isn't going to stay carpeted, I don't reckon. I'm probably going to fiddle around with it. But for now, let's get all the carpet in. That way the glowstone is hidden, but we are not restricted. We can play with it. So the f uh, advantage of it being a little house, of course, is the fact that it doesn't take very long. Some of my bigger houses, they take blooming ages, blooming ages to get the floor done. This one is easy and then I'm going to get my door and I'm going to use the oak door because it looks quite good against this wood and this wood and from the inside oh I've like missed one from the inside I'm going to put in the door and then that door opens inwards let me just come in here hang on that door opens towards me it's not inwards it's outwards but has got a nice depth along the edge of that house bit there I think that started to come out quite nicely now you generally at the front is where you would have the gable and I would like to have a gable there I need there it is that's what I was looking for I need my stone brick stairs and we're going to build stone brick stairs there and stone brick stairs there and we're going to have an extended not an extended but a, a lengthened gable end which means I do need which I've not got some stone brick block there we go we won't worry about the glass for now. We're going to get some stone brick block on there and there. I'm going to put stone brick steps there and there. Stone brick block on top again. Stone brick stairs there and there. Now, do I want to put more stone brick block going upwards or do I now want to round it off? Now, this is a decision that is very very difficult now if I put stone bricks on there that is going to make that roof too high I think it's going to make it far too high so I'm just going to do stone brick step I'm going to put that there like that I'll put that on there like that for now before I forget and I think that is about right so I'm just going to come around the other side as well I'm going to repeat that same gable like that and then what I'm going to do on this side I'm going to have another gable but this is going to be your standard 12 12 or whatever it is you call it LBG I don't know your 12 12 type of uh, end so it's going to finish slightly lower than the other one will and that means that when I merge the roofs going in towards the middle this one will have a slightly lower finish than the other one and I think it will look just ever so slightly nicer but let's see so I'm just going to finish off these uh, ends and then what I'm going to do is with dark oak steps and dark oak blocks I'm going to be finishing off the edges like that and then with dark oak blocks wherever there is a uh, stone brick block we're going to go across like that same on this side go across like that and I'm going to finish off this roof in exactly that way so that's going to have brick steps there this is going to have brick steps there that's got to be a block like that I think yes it does 
Oh, no, that's going to be stairs, and then this is going to come across as stairs. So there we've got, it's quite a nice looking roof, but I do think it needs just one little finishing touch because that roof ridge isn't quite kind of pointy enough. It's just gone slightly too flat. So I'm going to shove a little roof ridge of a half slab in there. I'm also going to do one here. Now, part of it is to make it slightly pointier and part of it means that this no longer is a full block. And as a result, it won't spawn anything. Have I got a, no, I've not. Let's have that. And we're going to put one on there. Oh, no, not that. One on there. And leave that one like that. One on there. Whoop, not there. One on there. And one on there. So there is now no spawnability whatsoever on that roof. So you're not going to come out in the middle of the night thinking everything's safe and a creeper fall on your head. Because I've had that happen to me before. And I'll tell you this for nothing. It is not very fun. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get a block of, I'm going to use oak wood, I think now, for the contrast. And we're going to come one block inside here. And we're going to come across one. Block that in there. Block that in there. Come down there. Up there and one. And that leaves us with a two wide hole, which unsurprisingly, we're going to lob some glass in like that. And let's do that in the other side as well. So if I go inside one, come along, up, down, down there, glass and glass. Now in these side ones, it's gonna be ever so slightly different, obviously because the pitch is you know, significantly more um, flat. So we're gonna shove that in like that. And now I need to decide do I want to just do that or do I want to try and play around with it with a hole there? Now I reckon I'm just leaving it like that for now and we're going to decorate it in a different way in a minute. I'm not quite sure how yet, I've got to be honest, but we'll do it somehow. There, there and there. Right, so there we go. So our roof, oh no, there's a tree in the way, for goodness sake. Who put that there? We're going to put some more um, detail and decoration there in just a moment but in the meantime we're going to finish these walls now i'm actually going to start these walls off being really really plain now normally when i do my walls as you will know only too well i would have all kinds of different types of stone for my wall i'm not going to do that today i've decided that isn't the way we're going to go with this we're going to do something a little bit different i am going to leave you know similar windowage as we do normally um, but in reality we're actually not going to have um, much differentiation I don't think where's the solid wall, the solid wall is that side so this side we'll put the solid wall put those gaps like that that can be open um, yeah I'll leave that open as well there like that and there like that and then inside the corners like this we're just going to fill it in so we've got actually what looks like quite a nice texture to the wall I do like it I have to say and we're going to put glass not glass glass panes please come on glass panes in all of these gaps except the ones by the door because if you put a glass pane by the door it don't work so we're gonna to have to put a glass block by the door because that's just what we have to do maybe in a future update they will change that but I'm not sure how they will because of the way the blocks lay so we've got that there, 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 and there. We're going to shove glass block there and a glass block there. And that is looking all right. We've got a solid wall there to play with. We've got a solid wall there to play with. And all is good with the world. We're then going to fill in all along here. We're going to put a second height of glass. And we're going to put that in there. And then I'm going to put another row that goes all the way along like that and that's how we're going to finish off these walls so i'm just going to do those and i'll be back in a sec so we are completely surrounded by four walls of wood i really like the texture it gives but we do need to watch out for rogue blocks that have got the grain of the texture going in the wrong direction because just the very thought of it is making my teeth itch all of the grains have to go in the same direction or i'm going to be 
really quite sad and I don't think they are let me just change those that's better so you can see all the grains now I'm hoping are running in the same direction on all of the walls yes they are right so now we are going to put in a second floor now the reason we're putting a second floor is you kind of have to look at how much space you've got it if you don't put in a second floor you are going to struggle so I'm going to use um, oak wood because I think it looks quite nice one against the darkness of um, this uh, dark roof and two against the lightness of this stripped birch so we're going to try that we're going to run it all the way along and then when we get here we're going to get some oak steps which I do not have oak steps oak steps oak steps there we go oak steps um, and we're going to put some oak steps to go up to this level and I reckon we've got to start from there and I reckon we've got to go up yeah I think that's going to work and that way that brings us up to the right level there if we do that are we going to be able to walk up past that roof overhang yes we are okay so that is all good that is where we're going to put our stuff I'm just going to underpin that like that and then there because I have to take out the carpet we're going to shove a full block it looks a little odd maybe but we'll make up for it by uh, making it I don't know putting something in there perhaps so then I'm just going to carry on putting in the floor for the entirety we're not going to have um, any massive great openings we will have a little opening um, but it's not going to be huge so I'm just going to finish off the floor and I'll be back in a sec so we've walled off the upstairs and I've just put a little bit of light in, a classic bit of glowstone with some trap doors over the front and because it was quite dark in these corners I've just shoved a bit of glowstone there. We're not going to do anything else on the inside just yet but I think that's quite nice as an upstairs. It's a bit like an attic room, it's not really an upstairs but it's still I reckon probably where I'm going to put the bed. But we're going to come down because we're going to go back outside again because at the moment this outside looks plain as Mr. Plain from Plainland that recently entered a plane competition and won. And we need to do something about that because that just won't do at all. So first things first, I'm going to put a little bit of that there. I sort of, I'm just sort of experimenting at the moment as to how we're going to make this look um, a little bit less bland. Because bland doesn't really excite me very much so we're going to try and unbland this up a little bit by doing a, a few little details some of which I've done many many times on many many builds but others perhaps will experiment a little bit with as well so I've got these are coming in I think I like the way these look for now it does look a little odd with that hmm that looks a little odd with that door being kind of two full blocks above it. I might need to do something about that. I'm not quite happy. We're going to have to have a play. Maybe I'll come back to that in a minute. We'll do something with these full walls as well. Because the full walls don't sit well with me either. Uh, but all in all, I like the way the fences are looking. We're going to put some window, kind of window boxes, window seals underneath here too, I think. So I'll do that now. If we use dark oak stairs is that too much is that too dark yes I think that's too much what if we use what if we use oak wood is that too light yes the answer is yes that is too light so that means spruce wood which is sort of in the middle in it how does that look let's come back here Yes, I'm happy with spruce wood. So let's shove window sills underneath all the windows and see how that looks. Like that. If I put one under there, does that look daft? Yes, it does. We're not going to do that. We're going to put those under there like that and there, then there. Like 
that we'll put some objects on them as well maybe that might look quite nice and that's the other end of that and I think that's where we ended up and then I'm going to foot these as well because they're just too up and downy for me so I'm going to put a foot on each of these two that's going to make me feel slightly better about how the build looks at least in the short term there there and there and I reckon that looks quite good now we're going to try and have a fiddle with some ladders I think because ladders often work quite well to trim off but it's too in this instance that's not working I don't like it so I'm going to take it off completely we're going to get some dark oak slabs however and we're going to trim off the ends fill those in like that across there and across there and now we just need to think about how we're hang on a minute what is that? That looks like that's going the wrong way. I'm not having that. So let's put that there, put that there, and put that there. That is better. Oh, for a minute there. My heart went into palpitations then. That was entirely wrong. Just check I've not done it anywhere else as well. That's much better. The grain just wasn't working at all there, was it? All right, so let's just get this here too, because above that needs something, but I don't know whether that's what it needs. Um, I wonder if it needs a bit of a mini gable perhaps. What about that? What about that? How's that? That don't look too bad. That don't look too bad at all actually. What about that? I think I prefer that actually. What do you reckon? In the comments below, does that little mini gable look all right? Yes or no? I'm going to keep it there for now. And I'm going to put another one on the end here because it works beautifully to break up. Oh, for goodness sake, get it on there. There you go. It works beautifully to break up that rather large looking wall. That goes there, that there, that there. I think that works, yeah. There are many houses where you stand under it. In fact, my house, the house I actually live in in real life, has got a little mini gable over the front door. So I think that works beautifully well. Now, I just want to do something with this wall but I'm a little bit stumped as to what it is I could do um, if I put that there like that and that there like that we could then get we could get some what does it look like if I put some oak leaves in the middle of there and there how could I make that not look weird because that as it stands at the minute looks a little bit weird um, I don't think this is going to work either. Uh, I don't know. It might be all right. I'm going to come back to that. That might work. It might not. I'm going to come back to it. There's two walls like that. No, yeah, there is. So I'm going to do that there and that there. Put that like that and that like that, that like that and that like that. This is where I really want half slabs that are vertical. That would be beautiful. Please, Mojang, bring me a vertical half slab any time you like. But I'm going to leave that like that for now because it might work. It might just work. So I'm going to put also up here a bit of fencing. I've run into the tree again. I've got a little bit of fencing up here. In fact, we're going to fill all of that up with fencing because I think that needs breaking up a little bit. I'm going to put fencing up here. All of this bit can get fencing on it too. Yep, and that is good. So I just need to think of a few more ways to get more detail around this outside. Right, we've added a little bit more detail in now. Look, we've got these little acacia buttons that work beautifully well, I think, actually, uh, as Normally I would put stone buttons on wood, but because the wood is darker, the stone just looks a little bit too harsh. So we've got these other wooden buttons that actually contrast beautifully. And I've used those wooden buttons also on here because I think that makes the, um, that basically takes the blockiness out of this particular thing here, this, this kind of, well, block of wood. Um, I've also shoved on here some open 
trap doors and they act as a bit of a visor across the windows which works really really nicely again normally I would put something in here uh, to have like blinds at the side of the windows but I, I quite like this effect it works quite well and it looks like you've got a bar of chocolate running across the top of your window and everybody needs a bar of chocolate running across the top of their window frankly I think it's the way forward in life and we've got some red tulips in pots uh, in the windows I've done some windows with two some windows with one and just a little bit of bush at the front doors of both sides because I think that breaks up that wall rather rather nicely now we are going to do some more stuff out here in a bit but I'm going to come back inside because normally I don't do interiors but I feel I owe it to you and myself to whack an interior out so we're going to pick this one yeah this one and I've had a thought and I don't know if this is going to work or not so I'm going to take out these blocks here and these I'm going to go down one more take out these and those and then I'm gonna oh so I'm looking at the wrong thing and then I'm gonna do this with some bookshelves and I reckon this will work like that if I then same as the um, the rest of the floor if I then make that floor like that carpet up no I can't carpet it I cannot carpet this because if I carpet it it will block the signal from the bottom row if I take that out there I put that there like that and then here I shove a crafting table and that sits beautifully and that should shouldn't it that should start to give oh, I'm not going to see particle effects oh, of course because I've got particle effects turned off at the moment let's turn particle effects back on so video settings particle effects are all there we go back to game and we should start seeing yeah there you go you can see the particle effects going very nicely into that book I, I think it's okay with it being that gray color it sort of works doesn't it you can access it absolutely fine so I like that that works well so what I do need here though however will be that will be a chest and that chest will be used to store the lapis that we will be putting in um, into there because we need the lapis to do the enchanting so that's our enchanting area that works quite well I'm now going to do pick another point pick another point pick another point um, we may as well do it here actually so let's go one two three one two three I'm just going to take that out and shove that like that let's get a bucket of water and get rid of that now there and there if I then take that like that that like that and that will allow um, access to let me just check if I do that if I get an empty bucket of water which is there can I access that no can I access that water yes I can beautiful and then I just need to get my brewing stand that can go there and then we then put a chest on either side of that and that looks you know what I'm gonna put the chest there and the chest there you still can't access those unless you're really 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 desperate to and it doesn't look like the chests are hanging up in the air I quite like that that works quite well so we've got a little bit of magic there a little bit of magic there and we've got kind of an open space for the rest of the stuff so it really comes down to what do we want to put in here then so if I think I want to put some furnaces I definitely want to put an anvil in fact that anvil should go around here shouldn't it let's put the anvil there because that is really where all the, you add enchanting books to an anvil and stuff like that so we really should be doing that and I think 
we're going to have a row of furnaces up like that. That works quite nicely. And a row of furnaces up like that. So we've got plenty of smelting space. That's always good. Uh, what else do we want in our house? We want uh, we're going to go upstairs is what we want we're going to now what i'm going to do i'm going to bring in just for now we're going to get in there we're going to put a crafting table and that just completes our ability to make stuffs in the crafting table and what we probably want to do is put a little bit more storage in don't we so in terms of storage we're going to put that there actually we're going to put that there and there We'll put that there as well, and then we'll put that there like that. And we may as well put another double chest in there. I think that looks all right. We've probably got plenty of space. This is a bit bland at the minute. I might just, hmm, I might just build something up in there in a minute. I'm not sure what, but let's go upstairs because we've got quite a lot of space up here and we really, really want to be using it. Now, I want to have a bed that is underneath a window because then I've got, you know, just a nice view when I wake up. That's quite nice. Where's my bed gone? There's my bed gone. Let's put a bed down there like that. We're going to put a double chest either side of the bed because that makes perfect sense to do that. I'm going to get some armor stands. I'm going to whack some armor stands there and there there and there so that makes for a nice area there I'm happy and then we can get a little more storage and also I want to get an ender chest in this area so we're going to put an ender chest there so that way we've got an area and we're going to put a normal chest there so as to mirror it and then we just need to put a load more storage almost like these are where I keep my clothes and stuff like that over like that and also we're going to put some furnaces there there and there and there there and there we can't put chests there because of the solid block above it actually I'm saying that's not a solid block is it if I think yeah that's a step that's a backward step so that's all right I'm going to have a chest there as well that's perfect let's get another chest there and there and a chest like that so we've got stacks of storage up here it's a good place to live and uh, I think we've come along quite well let's have a chest there and let's have a chest there we do not want for room in this particular little house it's looking all right so we're walking up our path and we've got a nice entrance to our house here we've got a little bit of a pond going on with some sugar cane we've used the natural pond here to put more sugar cane around and bone milled up quite a lot maybe too much I don't know it depends on your taste to get a little kind of rough um, wild garden looking but in this bit we've got some wheat growing so we've got a little farm and here you can never have too many melons right so we've got some melons going as well and then the outside of the house I think is looking really quite nice it looks not overly decorated but decorated enough we've not lost too much and I'm just coming in and inside the house we've put some pictures up just to break up these massive walls that we've got these were too big to not have anything on them we've put in a little bit more storage and I think it's looking okay and coming up the stairs upstairs we've got all of our equipment in photo frames ready to and waiting for us to take it we've got our five different types of armor that we like to wear with our bedroom plenty of storage and it is all very cozy and so we have one country cottage by the sea that I think anybody would be really quite pleased to live in to be honest it's got views of the sea of the mountains it's got a pretty little garden it's got everything inside you could possibly need i think it came out pretty well given that all it's made out of is five seven by seven squares and that's seven by seven squares with the wood on the outside that's not even seven by seven inside we've managed to do this 
with a very nice, small, compact design. I'm really quite pleased with it. If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you've enjoyed it, and I'll look forward to perhaps making more house videos if that's what you'd like. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you've not done it already, hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.